pretty much showed exactly what you need to do against this. Um, but we'll see how it goes. Three, I, I am two, still excited. One, you got to watch the VB trailer earlier, so. Also, suffice it to say, Clem 3-0'd Radish. Yeah. Uh, did get 3-1 oh, by Impala to fall into the elimination bracket, but that is no small feat to get here. And it is no small feat to be wearing the battle boots going into game one. Let's check this one out. Yeah, she's got to have at least size of 10. Is that now, those, are, those are... There is another IP that I could mention of a character that wears comically large shoes, and uh -huh. I believe the, the people in chat will know what I'm referencing, uh, but I can't talk Clowns? about it here, so. Can I? I can't talk about that I here. don't know, but I know clowns are, have yeah, historically well, uh, large yeah. shoes. Yeah, they do. Yeah. Okay. Down sick again. Java not <laughs> ready for it. And I think, yeah, you called it out beautifully, right? Just the amount of down signatures <laughs> that we're seeing from Clem. You got to find a response to it. And Java has a good toolkit. Like, compared to uh, the earlier set with Raiders, like, Java can just neutralite those. But, all right, catches uh, Clem going high. Beautiful. Good cleanup here coming out from Java. Wants to stick with the orb. Definitely has been kind of Java's MO as of late. Okay. So, anyway, I started blasting. <laughs> Oh, and the blasts will hit. Clem did start off this game with some fantastic blasters play. Had that vertical juggle, but Western Air Temple has one of the highest ceilings in the game. Right. This is a rough down. position, right? Java is right in the blind spot of these blasters, so Clem needs to create a little bit more distance right here. But Java is not going to afford it to them so far. Ooh, good fastball to avoid that down air. Clem going to chase dodge down. Was likely hoping for the recovery opportunity. Wow, that down light didn't hit. I, I really like oh. Clem doing dodges in place. Gonna lose the stock right there, but you can basically like option select the gravity cancel right after yeah. that, which is very, very nice so far. It hasn't resulted in a stock, but I do like the vision. Now he's over to the boots, and uh, similar to the the idea of like option selecting into a uh, gravity cancel, like Clem's just been doing it and going for the stacked option right, right. with that down sig. Gonna whip. Java! Oh, it was all a bait all along! That's the tech. Clem gets away with those down sigs more than I think a lot of people should. Here he goes again, throwing out the sigs and Java can't punish. There, there does exist some level of like mental damage that yeah. comes with this though, where you're like, why is this working all the time? But Clem able to use that one again, almost as a bait in that previous stock. We'll use it as a damage accumulator right there. Okay, quick one, two, three from Java. Pogo attempted, but Clem with that up toss was ready. Perfect. Okay. Did we swap back boots. over. Ooh, good spacing from Java there. Okay, dodge to the right. See if Java gets that one packed up in the Rolodex right here, but throws the weapon away. Clem is just dodging straight through it. Java oh. picks up Orb, trying to get the side light side air. Not going to get that one. Clem goes for all of it. Oh. There's the ground pound, and there is game one. Clem still on a rampage. He is baiting with these down sigs. Java comes in, tries to punish, and Clem does such a good job punishing him for coming in. That time it was a jump gravity cancel down light that led to the KO. Man, Clem is doing dirty to people. This is a crazy run from yeah. this player, right? Like, I'm trying to pull up some of their old stats, and I, I don't see a lot. There's like, not a lot. I'm pretty sure Clem has not topped eight, top eight it until today. Yeah, I see zero on here. Their last performance, 17th at Trial of Heimdels, 33rd Three, at the midseason, 33 one, at Trial of Skady. Oh. I mean, this is the run of a lifetime so far from Clem. We'll see if this one can keep extending on into the elimination bracket. Well, I love you, but I just, I need you to know that all of the Nordic people in chat hate the way that you pronounce all the names of these things. Of what? It's Scotty. We'll start there. Is it? Yeah. No one has told, no one has given me a, a diction library of the names of it. But That's now fair. I know. Okay, yeah. the trial of Scotty. I blame production once yeah. again for not correcting Last me was this. in our ears saying the wrong thing. Oh, Clem <laughs> did get the wall touch. Oh, but his recovery gets stuffed out by the weapon toss, and Java going to take the first stock. And this is where a player of Java's caliber can really start to pull away, right? Once you start to figure out what kind of that one trick is, if it's the down signature from Clem, you find your counterplay, you can get your way through it. Maybe this is what Java needs right there, just a little kick in the pants to make things happen. Okay. Pogo attempt. Oh, quick reversal, though, from so Clem. Fast. Jump ground pound coming out from Clem. Over to the blasters. Okay, nice little extension right there, but Java doesn't get the counter hit. Trial of Scotty? <laughs> really? Yeah. Am I this Ooh. uneducated? 
Okay, wow. stock goes over to Java. You should still, you know what? You should keep getting confused by Nordic names just because <laughs> whenever you do, Java just deletes Clem. Is Scold right? Yes. Okay, I'll take that one. I think there was another one you said wrong, but I forgot. Clem! Oh, wait, keep going. Okay, okay, Java's hold on. One, we're, one. We're, we're, we, we got Heimdall, right? Uh, we got, Heimdall. Um, Heimdale. Nope, okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. All right, we're even Heimdale up one high. and one. Uh, I was too caught up. Tr uh, trying to understand where my diction all went wrong. So can you tell me what happened in this game? Uh, really, it was like partly Clem kind of just going crazy. Like that last stock was Clem just like full committing into some absurdity. But the second stock was the one that I think really highlights Java just figuring out what he needed to do against sure. Clem. Because Clem does really like to bait with like whiff sig into counter punish. For sure. And Java was just not having it. Let's see, maybe the Blasters make a little bit more of an impact on the side of Clem. They were equipped for half of the game, uh, and Clem Ooh. lost that one. But here comes the edge guard right here, and that is first strike masterfully done from Clem. And a bit unorthodox, we really haven't seen too much Blaster action so far. Yeah, I mean, all the Blasters players out there are going to get mad at Clem because <laughs> their uh, their propaganda, is it's getting rewritten. This, yeah, this one's for Sparky in the back pocket of, <laughs> of Stingray, saying uh, we need to fix blasters and we blasters need to fix them yesterday. But here we go. Okay, good jump from Java, but immediately jump, gravity cancel down line. Like I said, Clem will whiff with those SIGs and it'd be completely fine because mm -hmm. he counter punishes so often. Okay, Java correctly reading that dodge, but just a little bit misspaced right there. Clem still going to work with these blasters, reaching with that recovery, but Java finds one of his own on the spear. Ah, oh, he's still coming in. What? Why? Yo, the, uh, this is a, a thing that you get to be mad about as a Brawlhalla player, is that weapons are still active until they aren't, and that one was still active. I felt like I was just watching an old cartoon, <laughs> and it was... and just come straight in. Why was it active for that long? I have so many questions. Clem will find the ground pound right there to make it a full stock lead. And I really think this is all off the back of the Blasters putting in so much work. For sure. The Blasters are definitely coming alive for Clem here. He's been able to find so many hits onto Java again. Finding some extra hits onto Java. The spacing coming out from Clem in particular. All right, covering the angle once oh, again. Oh, dodge down. Oh my goodness. He's chasing, but he doesn't find the Sair. Java might have overcommitted, but he oh, didn't get the Oh, they overlapped, though. There was no good spacing for either player. Neither of them were able to get a hit on that wall touch. Java again whiffs the punish, and Clem gets the gravity cancel down line. Big oh, recovery, barely missed space right there. Java looking off the backboard. Recovery won't find that stock, but looking for recovery with the spear instead. Here comes the GC, but Clem finds the counter hit. Oh, wasn't the sure which way that foot was going. Side Sig, and that'll do it. Clem up 2-1. The adaptations from Clem in that game alone were unbelievable, yeah. right? Like, you look at the disparity of, you know, game one, boots only all the time. Let me just signature as much as possible. We go to this game three by comparison. The blasters were online for, I want to say, if I had to take a guess, like 60 to 70% of the game, and I think it's updating right now, 66% of the game, the blasters Good were guess. online. Crazy, crazy adaptation. And like you had said before, using those GCs as almost baits to automatically whiff punish, it was just an amazing game three. Yeah, and now Java's got to be concerned because like one, game two was all about, okay, I know what you're going to do. I'm going to just completely punish it. Interesting start for Clem though. All right, here we go. Oh man, he just keeps catching Java coming up. Doesn't get the nair. Yeah, but that recovery put you in so much end lag. So Java's still playing in disadvantage right now. Counter? Clem can go for practically the same setup oh. once again. Did he touch? Yes, he, he did, has he enough. Did. Oh man, Java is just eating damage though. Yeah. This is a huge damage disparity now for Clem. Oh! Even on the whiff, it doesn't even oh! matter. He's gonna find the last hit as well. What is Clem doing? What an insane string from Clem, just keeping that going. Java still not able to punish these down sigs from Clem. Now Java's basically a full stock behind. Down sig again. Yep. True light comes out into the chase dodge nair. Java this time gets above it. Pogo does get missed as well, but now Java's in a weird spot, right? Because you can just send it with those boots off stage. Yeah, especially because Java went in with that gravity cancel and 
Clem was like, okay, I get a free string here, free combo, get some extra damage. Java's gonna be looking for more pogos, but he gets on stage. Clem finds the reversal, just hurries on away to pick out those blasters instead. Conversion, miss. Right. Into the recovery, Clem up three stocks to one. Oh my goodness. I, 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 need, <laughs> uh, I need a statistician that may exist in the Brawlhall universe uh -huh. to tell me, is, is this like one of the lower seeds to ever, you know, make a placement of this caliber I at a tournament no. this stack? We've but... had some pretty insane uh, upsets happen, but definitely a, a fantastic run coming out for from sure. Clem. I mean, even so, this is easily the biggest PR disparity between players in top eight. 30 versus four. Clem. Oh. See, off stage. That's three exclamation points. Yeah. yeah. Okay. He's going to fall there and wait, wait, what What happened to the first stock? It gone. Okay, Clem. <laughs> it gone, bro. <laughs> Yeah, he's, Don't be there. He's suddenly like, on his final stock. I, I missed a stock of Clem's. <laughs> I, I blinked and that one disappeared. We'll see if Clem can close it out right here or will we be going to a game five? Once again, the side light from Java just finds the dodge by Clem oh, with that gravity cancel and it's just over in an instant. Clem with the huge upset. I remember what happened to the first stock. It was the haymaker from Java. I was laughing about it. And then the second stock, he threw it away. It doesn't matter, though, because the third stock was Clem with the side sig to finish off Java and get another upset.